Recently I spent majority of my days playing Elden Ring. Even before DLC released, I spent days fighting gear, upgrading it, tuning my build that I created myself. And despite that I openly hated Elden Ring, and I still have some issues with it, Shadow of the Earth Tree fixed almost all of them. The bosses weren't so annoying, the exploration was well worth it and was actually fun rather than grueling like in base game. It actually expanded my versatile arsenal, now I can parry, dodge, use quick step, throw knives fast and be fast overall. The visuals of this DLC are also something out of Techland's range. The vibe of some locations is outstanding and it felt great just to discover them. I fell in love with this DLC and I'm actually afraid of ending it, not because last boss is hard, but because it's the end of the journey. The journey that I actually enjoyed this time. And it's hard for me to say goodbye to my character, especially since she resembles Anya Taylor-Joy. What is interesting is that Miyazaki said that his best RPG game is yet to come and after this DLC I'm actually excited to see what he's cooking. But when you sit by the bonfire before the last boss, you ask yourself, what's next? Techland's been holding us captive by promising DLC 2 for over a year now. And we didn't hear nothing about it for over a year. We got some concept arts, but nothing that could actually tell us that DLC is coming soon. Until someone leaked entire story for DLC. How do you let something like that happen anyway? <laughs> for over a year now we've been just waiting for it and Techland released a couple of updates that add things to the game that should have been there since day one. They basically fix the game after the premiere and keep us hyped for the next update like this time we're gonna add zombies to the game or in this update we... But then you ask, what's next? They focus on DLC 2 now, but when it releases What's Next, an update that fixes something that should have been fixed a long time ago, adds something that requires resources and money, but is actually one line of code. The game been dead for some months now and player base is only declining. Techland literally can't afford to release this DLC in the current state of the game because it's low-key unplayable. You block on invisible objects, the gameplay comes down to using small range of skills and weapons or just running away not because fighting is hard but because it's boring. Even when the DLC 2 releases, some people will come back to the game but it still won't be the record that Elden Ring set on June 21st, with player accounts setting at almost 500,000 at the same time. Despite Sourceborn series being niche, From Software managed to gather massive player base, while Dying Light gathered only 275,000 on the premiere. Still a great number when you use maths, but those, those are, are rookie, rookie numbers, numbers gotta pump those up when the DLC 2 arrives. But then when you say goodbye to Crane, cause he's gonna be in the DLC, it's not big revelation. When you have to set Aiden free on his way to nowhere cause he bumped Villador on my safe. What's next? Another update that fixes something that should have been fixed since day one. At this point only 5 people will play this game so why Techland even bothers? Wait for the release of their new game? Why should I? When I was waiting for Dying Light 2 and 80% of content was cut and diminished to Far Cry 6 level of the game. What's next Techland? Cause you are way behind everyone else.